Yeah, there was a part of us that, you know, shouldn't have doubted it because of this club and they've proved it so many times that they they come out in these situations regardless. But there was also a point, you know, a part of us, we woke up in the morning, we'd obviously lost the Champions League final, which is, is never a nice feeling. Obviously, the circumstances around it, everything like that, you know, we knew the fans had had a tough time and, uh, you know, how many people were going to come. You know, we've obviously won two trophies, but the last two weeks have been disappointing. Of course, as we thought, you know, we dreamed of winning the Premier League, the Champions League and sitting on there with four trophies and it, it wasn't the case. And, you know, I think the lads were also down and everything like that. And it was, you know, it was tough, the first street in, in particular when we first came out. And the problem was, is we could all relate to 2019. So we could all say, ah, oh, there was millions of people here when we, you know what I mean? So we we're thinking this is going to be quiet mm. the whole way. I can't remember what street it was, but we turned on and it was just, uh, it was crazy. And then, you know, obviously the music got louder and everyone else was, and yeah, we owed it to the fans. You know, we were still disappointed. We were still, you know, unhappy of how the season had kind of ended and things like that. But we owed it to the fans. You know, they support us up and down the country. They they followed us everywhere in that, that season and every competition. And when they came out in their numbers, we, you know, we can't sit on the bus being miserable. Like I said, obviously the music playing helped and then all the lads just started going for it and we thought, yeah, let's have fun. You know, it's not every time that you end up in this situation, you end up in a parade like this with this amount of people. And after a disappointment 24 hours, it left a good feeling for us walking off that bus and, you know, it sent us away on our holidays, you know, in high spirits. We don't want to do your life story, but I do want to mention Queen's Park. Obviously, that's where you started and... Not too many people know that Queen's Park's home ground is, is the home of Scotland, isn't it? How does that feel for you? That obviously, you, you started your footballing career there and then you're leading your national team out as, as, as a captain in the same stadium. 